Hello, this is a video tutorial for Toon Racer. In this tutorial we are going to be replacing the player cars with your own. Ok, to begin with, on the hierarchy we can see car 01 to 07. These are the 7 playable cars which you can adjust within the game. In this tutorial we're going to be replacing car 01 with your own. So to begin you can see that they're all bunched together. So if we just slide car 1 out we can have a better view of it. If we expand car 01 game object within the hierarchy we can see a list of different objects. Uh, we're just going to go through those now quickly uh, just to explain further which uh, well, what they all do. So to begin with brake lights it's quite self-explanatory. These are the lights which are enabled when the brake button is pressed. Flash left is the flame which comes from the left exhaust pipe and flash right is the flame that comes from the right exhaust pipe. If you only have one, you can merge them in the middle, or you can delete them altogether depending on your preference of your car. Next is the shadow, um, which is once again quite self-explanatory. This is just a shadow image which sits underneath the car. When the car is changing gear, it tends to uh, slightly dip down into the road. It could be worth noting that with the shadow, if you have it too low, when it changes gear, it will as you can see here the shadow will disappear so make sure it's slightly raised off of the ground. Next we have the spark objects. The sparks are basically what appear uh, once you collide with another vehicle uh, or along the side up here and along here. So we have a front right spark, a front left spark, one that sits in the center and which is here and two on the left and right which sit just around about the wheel arch. There's the left one. Finally we have the player collider. This is the object that detects any collision with the car um, such as with traffic or once again along the side up here and up here. It's worth making sure that the player collider completely covers the car uh, at all times. Finally we have car 07. This is the car that we're going to replace today with our own. So to begin, drag your new car onto the road. I have one set out here. It's worth making sure that they have similar size because it will help greatly with the reskinning process. So the first step is to uh, lay overlay the new car on top of the old car. and then we're going to delete car 07 which is the white car in this instance. We're now going to drag our new car into the car 01 prefab and now we just work through each of these objects uh, to align them correctly with our new car. Now this is just going to be done roughly uh, as a demonstration you can obviously spend a lot more time uh, to get better precision Okay, I'm just going to move the two flashes slightly up a bit. And also move them in. Okay, next up is the shadow, which looks okay to me. Once again, as I mentioned earlier, uh, ensuring that this isn't too close to the ground otherwise, uh, as mentioned, it will go into the ground. Okay, now these sparks. That looks okay. The benefit of ensuring that they are similar sizes uh, is that when we come to do this task, um, the majority of them are is pretty much all set up, which means less work for us. Okay, I'm going to move this one out slightly. Okay. Now finally is the player collider. Uh, as I mentioned, it's worth uh, ensuring that it's completely uh, covering the car. If not, it can cause problems with the collision detections. You can also use a box collider or another mesh collider if you're confident. Otherwise, you can simply just use this one and adjust it to your needs. Now finally, if your car um, has detachable wheels, there is a script provided which allows for rotation of the car wheels. To do so, simply select uh, 
all the wheels. We're going to add a script, so click on Add Component and type in Car Wheels. You'll see Car Wheel available, so click on this one. And you'll see Script, which says Car Wheel, and then Car, currently saying None. Now what you want to do is drag the Car01 game object over here. And now you see Car01. Uh, which will enable the script on this particular car. And there we go, that's a reskin of car 01. Um, simply replace um, the other car objects with your desired car and you'll be good to go.